definitely gives you the skills to have a higher level of thinking, to think about things from a deeper perspective as opposed to figuring things out uh, at a basic level. I took AP Language and Composition last year and I definitely attribute my success as a writer as of late to that class. Um, it helped me to earn a perfect 36 on both my English and reading ACTs. I really, really grew as a writer and was pushed to new levels to develop really concise and precise uh, writing. Over my four years here at Grades Like Central, I have taken 11 AP classes, and with taking so many AP classes from everything from history to math to science to English has really taught me what I loved about school and also taught me what I want to do at the next level. Uh, it's definitely prepared me from everything from things like the ACT, but then also just uh, preparing me to be able to uh, compete and succeed at the next level in college, and I'm very thankful for that. I'm part of the Exploring World Cultures class for the past three years. Um, through this challenging class, I've been, I've traveled to seven countries. Um, we cover in class anything and everything from history and government to geography and cuisine. Um, honestly, I can personally say that this has been the best decision and experience that I have made in my entire high school career as it really allows me to take myself out of just the Grays Lake North area and really put myself and immerse myself in a different culture and that alone is just a class that you can never experience anywhere else. Between my junior and senior year I've taken on a lot of hard rigorous classes mostly APs and the most important thing to me based on these classes is the preparation uh, they give me for college because I know that when I get to college it won't be as rough of a transition now that I've taken these classes my father, he owns a plumbing and welding business, so it's kind of easier to be able to learn how to talk to people. So I know what like other people's reactions are to asking questions, seeing how what they feel is going to contribute to me later in life being in the business field. At Grace Lake North High School, as a junior, they were able to provide me with the chance to go to Lake County High School's technology campus, a, a vocational school in the area, where I studied two years of computer support services, learning the software and the hardware of computer workstations, servers, and with that opportunity that was given to me, I was able to gain an internship after my first year at Grace Lake North High School for one semester, which I was able to shadow and follow the computer technicians over at Grace Lake North, which gave me a lot of knowledge on what I wanted to do for my future. I applied for a position as a district computer technician and luckily I was a top candidate due to the experience that Grace Lake North High School was able to give to me. The medals program over at Central is affecting my future because I'm going to go to the College of Lake County for several welding courses this fall and get a certificate in two types of welding. I've already been instructed on what I should know and what to do here and I've actually bought a lot of my own uh, welding equipment outside of school. And auto body repair and exhaust systems on my own time with the equipment that I own, which is not something that a lot of students in a regular sit-down class can say. In Project Lead the Way, we use a lot of problem-solving skills and we work a lot with technology, and those two things are very, very applicable in the real world, whether it be through college or through jobs or through everyday living. You do have to make a lot of critical decisions, and you have to make these decisions based on your own judgment. This class is very good at teaching you how to make those decisions and everything is applicable with everything else in real life, whether you're going into an engineering field or an English field, for example. Everything can be applied to something else. And with Project Lead the Way, especially, it's like getting hands-on for once and actually you know, being involved in creating stuff. It's not just tests and memorizing things, it's actually getting into it and learning and doing. Well, Spanish 1 has definitely broadened my horizons for Spanish and it's given me a lot of information on what to do and I think now that I've taken Spanish 1 and been introduced to Spanish a little bit, I think I'm going to definitely take Spanish throughout high school and college hopefully and definitely use it later in life when getting a job and such. A few years ago, several students came to me requesting that we have a place in the school for them to go when they were being bullied so they could talk to other people about it, so they could make non-judgmental friends, and they'd be able to educate other people about the effects of bullying. So they got together, they started a club, and they named it Voices because they felt this club gave them a voice that they didn't otherwise have. At Grays Lake Central, we use student voice to drive our programming. From a needs inventory, we created student groups in anxiety management and healthy relationships. We use that same needs inventory to create monthly awareness campaigns for the students. 
drug and alcohol prevention, healthy dating relationships, and stress management around finals time were topics that we've done. We use the same inventory to go into the classrooms and provide education in alcohol using the Alcohol EDU program. Our goal for Parent University is to support and connect parents to resources and information to bridge any gaps between home and the school. Uh, we aim to provide education to support responsible, self-confident, and emotionally healthy children. The iPads have helped me to be an independent student and it helps me engage in learning so that I can find resources online or use certain apps to help me um, answer questions. And the Zero Hyper makes me do uh, play sports. Um, I like to uh, press the PE. Uh, I can do uh, play press basketball, press football, and press this, um, any kind of sports I can do. We're also a swap program here at GCHS. Um, I meet up with uh, a teacher, uh, we deal with my homework and any projects I have for any classes one on one. Um, I think it helped me because it keeps me more on like my projects and like helps me out with my homework and grades. I mean, we have a certain amount of pages for every section. So like for the clubs pages, we can't fit all the clubs onto two pages. So what we do is we go through it and we like try and incorporate both clubs, whichever clubs would go best together, and then we try to make a story out of both. Well, I've definitely become a better problem solver because now that we have the iPads, I've been introduced to many different ways to find stuff, like information. So instead of just using a book or asking people about information to find, I can look for, I can just use the iPad or any technology and look up different information using technology like that. Well, in journalism, we always have to contribute new ideas for every issue, and so after doing it for months and months, you kind of get a better eye for what's going on in the school and what's good to contribute. In uh, Rettles class, I started to be able to use applications from uh, my Project Lead the Way program and use those to actually fabricate materials and uh, bring into creation an item that uh, Mr. Ellingson actually helped me create. I took um, Art Foundations my sophomore year. It was a really great class. Um, I learned a lot of different art techniques and skills. Um, I am also currently taking tech, and um, one of my teachers there actually gave me the opportunity to enter a contest. It was a drawing contest for anti-bullying. Um, I actually recently went to New York, and I actually won first place for a contest that I actually won. This year, these, my classes have really challenged me to think outside of what I know and to learn new ways to do things when I, when I come to like a wall. They've taught me like the one way you've been taught is not always the one way you have to do things. And that trying a different outlet or a different even media of doing something can often create a better result. I used to come out my classes to help me learn by, um, I pretty much use it for like if I don't understand a question, I will Google it and then maybe see the definition or the different meanings of that word that can help me. We take all of the assignments that are assigned to us and we upload it digitally to the LMS. So we don't really use paper anymore. We just upload everything to the LMS. If we read something out of the textbook and then I don't really understand it, then we can look to an animation, and I'm a visual learner, so it helps me understand it further. I can like use different um, apps to like, create projects, and I can research it on the iPad if I have a question. I don't have to automatically go up to the teacher, like Bucker or him, to like, ask a question while there's a big line. I can look it up on the internet. We use the iPads to do web quests, which are help us prepare for our tests in biology. And we also use them to learn about DNA and RNA. Also, we use something called Socrative, where it helps us know where we're at, and at the same time, it kind of involves other students. So we can do partner things, and we can play games at the same time, and we kind of compete with each other to know where we're, where we're going. 